Yeah, it's my, my pleasure to uh, come and share what I do with you guys. And uh, I feel blessed to be a part of, you know, entrepreneurs here in uh, Central Texas. My name is Kingsley Asukwo, born and raised in Nigeria. And then 2010, got married to my wife. And um, while in college, I always wish, you know, because while in college in Nigeria, I read physics. So I, I like to listen to CNN, BBC, you know, and I, I realized that things are different the way we have it back in Nigeria. You know, you go to the classroom, you know, you're going to stand throughout, you know, and when I see students here in the U.S. sitting down in class, a condition, you know, good chairs and all that, I always wish, how I wish I can either make it there or my kids will be here to enjoy the kind of, you know, education opportunities that are here. But um, luckily for me, as uh, soon as I got married, I've been doing what is called American lottery, you know? So I did it for about eight years, you know, I was not selected. So as soon as we got man married, 2010, I said, okay, let me try this thing again. And I tried, and we were selected, me and my wife. I said, oh, wow, just hold on. Don't get pregnant yet. <laughs> until we get to the state. So as soon as we got our visa early 2000 and, um, sorry, late 2011, I said, okay, it's time to get pregnant. And actually we arrived Maryland 2012 um, with two months pregnancy, you know. <laughs> you know, so I was so excited about that. And um, coming to the US, thinking is a line of opportunity, you know, everything is, you know, you can pick dollars on the street and things like that, but, <laughs> but it was not easy because I had to try to get two jobs, one in Maryland, one in Virginia, and every time I get back, you know, I'll be tired, you know, sometimes I sleep in the train, you know, one in the night, two times, three times a week, and the other one daily in the morning. So I said, how, how am I going to do this? Because back home, by then I already got a job, that, you know, uh, they gave me a driver that would be taking me, three bedroom apartment, everything paid for, sometimes lunch free, you know, but the money is not that big. So I said, how? Oh, I wish I stayed back, you know, but I said no. So coming back, I realized some, uh, the, in a train station, there was um, this recruiting, army recruiting office. So I did that for about, I did those jobs for like two months. And my jeans started, you know, I noticed <laughs> cutting off, you know, from, you know. So, and I saw those recruiters, they dressed fine. And one day I said, let me go talk to these guys, you know. I went in there. The guy that caught me, you know, took me inside, asked me to write the test. And I wrote the test. And I scored really high. And that was his score. The guy rushed everything, said, you have to join the military. I didn't know anything about the military. So called one of my uncle that was in um, uh, Canada. He had a friend who was in the U.S. Army. He said, Kingsley, if you have that opportunity, go for it. Because I explained how things are, how I was struggling. He said, go for it. So that's how I joined the military. Did three years in South Korea. Came back to Fort Hood, 2018. I broke my back and I couldn't run anymore as an NCO. He said, why are you working on PT and your soldiers are running, you know? I say it's time to get out. So before I got out, I always had interest in the financial industry. So 2018, got out February. In three months, I got my license, but I didn't know where to go. So I did my research, and then I realized I can be independent, you know, have access to all these companies, their training and everything, and also help people with the knowledge. So one thing was the education. The education, I had about 21,000 car payment and credit card. So with the education, the debt roll up, it took me 2019, just one year. I was not working for anyone. I was just doing this to pay off all my debt. Since 2019 till now, it's only maybe mortgage and some light bill. And that gave me freedom, you know, I was not stressed about paying credit card and all that till now, you know, and have been helping people with the education. 
me and my wife, we got license and we help people. And I, I, I narrow it down to tax free retirement. That's what I help people with. Because most people only know 401k, IRA, and those things are limited. I always ask people, how many wealthy people do you see that retire off of, do you know anybody that retire off of 401k or maybe TSP you did in the military? It's not going to be enough. That's why people retire, retire, and they still go back to work. There are ways you can save money tax free, and that money grows compound. You know, and you can retire predictably. You know how much money you get 10 years from now. I use that, you know, for myself. Most people call it in finite banking. Most people call it, a, um, was it a rich man through all things like that, index annuity, you know, where you can roll your money over and you get bonuses and money grows aggressively without you losing your money. That's what the asset relocation, uh, reallocation. Also, estate preservation. I help people, you know, protect their asset, you know, because anything can happen, we don't know, and then you lose everything to the state if you don't have a will and a trust. I help with that. Also, um, health and all kinds of life insurance, business insurance, home ownership insurance, and, you know, business consulting. 2018, I was not working, but I was in my house you know, researching different businesses. I bought into a couple, you know, I did, you know, and I knew, I know a lot about how to start a business phone using SBA and things like that. So I help people with that as well. Without wasting time, um, I just want to apologize for coming late, came all the way from Temple. Uh, let's go to my, it's very short, but if you have any question, Get with me one on one. Let's, I help businesses, business owners give the education. We have workshops where you can learn any area of finances that you would need help with. You, you learn, we want people to become their money manager. So when you know how to manage, because I don't know how many people here uh, trust people with their money. <laughs> Take my money, go invest for me. <laughs> you know, so, but when you learn, you know, the basis, it can help you a long way, and those workshops are free. Um, I work with World Financial Group, and then under World Financial Group, we have about 180 companies that we partner with, and we have over 300 solutions, which a lot of people don't know about. So um, this is a little bit of what we do in the video. If there's no, if there's no volume, we can, go, we can go to the next slide so we don't waste time. Um, next slide. Yes, no, like, no, like no, no audio. If there's no audio, let's go to the next slide. All right. So, um, <clears throat> what I basically do is uh, it's called National Cam uh, Financial Campaign for Financial Literacy. A lot of people don't understand how money works, you know. And if you can see, any time we sit down with people, maybe on Zoom meeting, I wear this badge, it's a campaign, and we have free, we're trying to build a new industry whereby even all the business owners can join this, learn for themselves, help their, you know, their clients with their finances. You have the knowledge, so when you sit down with someone, you can help them in not just what you're doing, with their finances, because most, Entrepreneurs leave the money on the table. When someone comes in, you know how to help them with your credit score. You know how to, where to send them to if they have debts, you know, so they won't hurt them. And then these people will be confident and stay with you forever. And next slide. So we're trying to build a new industry where people can get license on your own. I help you three days. You get your license. You have access to all these things. And we have a book called uh, Saving Your Future Book. I'm going to, uh, if, you, if you can, you know, drop, drop your email, I'll give you a digital copy, because I don't have enough of the hard copy. It explains finances as if a, a friend is talking to a friend. All those topics, people find it difficult to understand, you know, things like SEP IRA, which are for business owners, things like that, you can start planning for your retirement. But this book, we, this book is on circulation, over 2,000, two, you know, 2 million copies has been in circulation currently. So just basic principle of building financial foundation. Next slide. 
Next. We're just going to go to a little bit of uh, statistics here in the U.S. Um, if you notice, we, with our license, we can help people in America and Canada as well. But let's narrow down to the U.S. It says the picture is gloomier. 79% of Americans feel financial stress. More than half live paycheck to paycheck. 62% of American credit, you know, carry credit card debt. 37 have already maxed out their credit cards. And 27 don't pay their bills on time. And, and then you notice that the credit score goes down. It's not, a, you know, you can, you know, qualify if you want to buy a house, you want to buy a car. You know, they give you high interest rate. But those things, if we help you pay it off, your credit score can go up very easy match. You know, let's, next slide. Just trying to hurry up. Next. So this is the, the second paragraph there, you know, is what really stands out. It says, it's ironic that we live in one of the wealthiest countries in the world, but we always have money problems. We work hard all our lives, but retire poor. We do so much to raise our kids just to see them finish college with a lot of debt. Debt becomes a way of life. So two things are very important there. One is retirement, and two is college funding for your kids. Some veterans say they have Hazelwood and all that. Will it take them to you know, universities like the IMT, Harvard, whereby those, the people that go to that, that's where you see them in the Senate, top position. Will your kids, you know, what you have right now, will it take them to the best university? So we sit down with you. You can you know, draw a plan from now on. Let's have the money there. If they don't use it, you can use it for something else, but you, let's have a plan. So next slide. This is going to speed up a little bit. So here is just, you know, this, this is current. This is current as at 2021. You know, the wealth gap in America. You know, how many people here want to be wealthy? <laughs> everybody, everybody want to be wealthy. But how do we get there if we don't have the GPS, if we don't know the statistics? If you can notice here, this is the wealth uh, gap in America is very wide. You notice the bottom here? The bottom here are 50% of Americans, and you see the, norm, the, you know, the color purple, very small. But these are the, high, you know, the highest percentage of Americans that are living below the poverty level, 50%. You see the yellow is another 40%. That's 90% of Americans struggling with money. That's why I decided to do this, give education, so that you, know, you can be predictable. You can say, oh, so, so yeah, I'll be free. I'll be financially free. If you notice, the first light green are people that are, <clears throat> you know, maybe your net worth, or maybe you have a million dollars in the bank. You know, those are the people that they consider they are wealthy in America. They have assets, you know, their net, net worth, you know, is at least a million dollars, you know. So that is only 9%. And if you go up there, the 1% are the wealthy that control all the wealth of America. So I don't know where you are, but you can walk your way up if you understand how money works and what this 1% and the 9% are doing. They're doing something different from the 90% what they're doing, it's something totally different. It's just a mindset, what, is the, what are they doing? You know, and since 2018, I have that confidence. One day, I will make a million dollars, I will have a network of a million dollars, but you have to do what they're doing. You, you know, let's go, let's go next slide, please. Next slide. So here is just, you know, compare, United States to the old world, 39% of, um, of millionaires, wealthy people, are in the U.S. And U.S. people are becoming millionaires because the education is going now. People really understand what they have to do. So in the whole world, America has the highest number of millionaires. And then, and that is just 8.8% of American population. <coughs> Next slide. So what, what do the millionaires do? And these millionaires are not, you know, f you know they are not 
you know, celebrities only. They're not fancy. They're not people that actually receive inheritance. Let's go down. Next, please. Yeah. They are normal, average people who build up their financial future with knowledge. Understand that, mark that word, knowledge, planning, and consistent practice. Three things. If you have the knowledge and you plan and you consistently do it over a long period of time, you will be wealthy. So what do the rich know that the poor doesn't know? Next slide, please. All right, the poor is getting poorer because of bad habits. And poor decisions, they keep adding up. Number one, they don't budget, you know. Number two, they don't have financial goals for retirement, college education, healthcare, and more. How many people here have, you know, confidently can say maybe three, four, five, ten years from now, I will retire because I have a plan? So if there's nobody, then you need to sit down with me. Let's get a plan. It's free. Let's get a plan. Let's see how your finances can work because for retirement, and if you notice, healthcare, minus the college education, maybe some of us are kids are already out of college, the healthcare. It's very expensive in America. You know, you have diagnosis of cancer and it realizes stage four cancer. All your assets can go within a short time. All your investment properties can go. You can put, most time people don't have liquid cash. And what that happened is before they put out their house to sell, to go for chemotherapy or do GoFundMe page, I mean, the, the sickness already killed you. So we want to get a plan for healthcare. It's called long-term care, something that can pay you when you're sick, when you you know, have anything terminal, it can pay you lump sum, you use it and take care of yourself. And then number, th uh, number three says they have expensive tests. Number four, you know, they are living with credit card debt and liabilities, a large portion of their income going to interest. You know? So if you're having a credit card, that you notice that who knows the average interest rate on a credit card debt that is passed from one month to another. Average sometimes is between 18% to 24, 24, sometimes 22%. Just check your, if you have one or if you know anyone that has one. We want to be able to pay that off because there's no investment that can even give you, I mean the investment that can give you but can average 22% every year. But this is how we are working and something is taking the money out. And they, they are living with, yeah, sorry, the next one, they don't prepare for emergencies. You've got to set up some emergency fund. Next. <clears throat> and then they work for a living. Thank God you're not working for a living. You have a business. That's why you're here. So let's put our hands for ourselves. <laughs> All right, last one, they don't have good knowledge and often not interested into financial matters. You know, the, no matter how I want to pour out my heart and the education I have, people are not interested. And now they do this, even you tell them it's free, free, too good to be true. And I say, okay, what am I going to do? Maybe I will start, you know, monetizing the knowledge and then giving out, you know. Let's say you have to pay $5,000 before you sit down with me. Maybe that's what I'll do because most people, when you put money on it, oh, this thing should be valuable. You know, that's what I'm thinking. I'll, I'll try that as an experiment and see. <laughs> all right, all right. So, you know, go, go next, go next. Times are changing, so we have to believe in financial education because the future is not, you know, in the hands of our employers, your union or your government. You know, it doesn't matter who is there in the White House. It is neither in the hands of your bank or nor your broker. Next, the future is in your hands. When I sit down with people, I just give you free information on those four areas. Go back one slide, please. Those four areas are very important. How to make more money, how to save more money, how to accumulate. Accumulate is grow. That money has to grow. And how to protect that money. Maybe tomorrow you're not there, that money goes straight to whosoever is your next of kin. Because if you don't protect it, it's going back to the state. You work all your entire life. Your business, everything goes back to the state. 
and I can show you different instances that can happen. The future is in your hand. Next slide. And B, you have to be educated. You have to be your own money manager. And knowing less can cost more. Keep going. And understand how money works. Make money work for you. Let your money work for you. And I will ask here, for some of us that make money, where do you keep your money? Where do you keep your money? Bank, right? In the bank, you know. The banks are owned by people. They don't even give us interest on our money. I can do a, a, a small search here. Where do banks invest my money? Because as soon as you deposit that money, let's say $20,000, it's not liquid anymore. Psh, you go straight to their investment portfolio. I show you where they invest money and they average 10% on your money. But go back tomorrow, say, I want that money right now, 20,000. They say, oh no, you can't take 10, you can take 20 right now. You have to take 10 today. You have to give me two of your, drive, even $1,000 now, you have to present two, you know, card because that money is not available right there. They're trying to delay you so they can go bring that money from where it's invested. So those are the things I help people with. Uh, next slide. I can end my presentation here, but I don't know of the things that are be below. Keep going. Let's have a good picture here. Yeah. So these are what we, the rich, how this is how they build their financial foundation. You know, most people want to start from investment. And actually, you're turning your house, you're building your house from the roof, which is not the way they build houses. The first thing is proper protection. What does that mean? You have to protect your life, your health, like the long-term care I mentioned, your assets, your income, and probably your business. That's the protection I'm talking about. And there are different ways you can do that. The next thing is debt management. You gotta be able to manage your debt. And then set up some emergency fund and investment. Then you learn more about different investment that you can diversify. You know, you, we, you can do all these things at the same time. You know, just like walking, chewing gum at the same time. You know, let's go next slide. So like building a house, I already talked about that. Next slide, next slide. You know, we want to move to financial security. Next slide. Next slide, I already explained this. You need to learn that and then learn how to manage your debt. This is what you know, took me out of debt 2018. It's called debt roll up. There are four ways you can get out of debt. It's not that you're gonna to pay too much, but if you have a plan and you have it in the finger, you know, and that year, do you know, I had $6,000 in credit card debt. And the person that my coach, you know, our leaders that was teaching me, you know, motivating me to do that, said, Kingsley, you have to cut that credit card. Don't cancel it. Use scissors and cut it, and exactly that's what I did. I cut it. And he said, uh, as soon as I got it, I had to go rent a, a car at Enterprise at the airport here. It was in Killeen at the airport. And they said, oh, you don't have a credit card. We can't give you a car. And then I called her, Mary. She's in Austin. Why are you doing this to me? I'm trying to rent a car. They said, I, don't, I need to have a credit card. He said, do you, <clears throat> do you have money? Because I already started setting up emergency fund. I had like $500 in my emergency fund by then. He said, do you have money in your emergency fund, like a debit card that you can use? I said, yes. He said, go to Dollar Rental. Go to Dollar Rental. They're going to rent a car for you if you have money in your debit card. And I went there. I rent a car with Dollar Rental, which I didn't know. <laughs> you know. So, you know, there are things like people are wealthy doing separate you can think we're doing the same thing. You know, next slide. I don't want to go into details on this. You know, if you can Google it, you can see the way it can help you shorten. Just keep going. And you'll notice that, stop there. Oh, one, one slide back. 
You notice that this person, including mortgage, you can pay off in less than 10 years if you apply this principle. You see, it's supposed to pay all the debt in 30 years, but it only took 17.5 years. If you follow this, how much did he add it? He only added extra 100 to the, the lowest debt and build it up like that. But you have to be disciplined to go through this, have emergency funds so you don't go back to debt, something that is guiding you. And most people, it's very simple if someone is guiding you. Someone like me, it's very simple. But you have to be transparent and do the right thing, not do the other way, you know. And next slide. All right, keep going. Emergency fund, I already talked about that. Emergency fund, let's say you earn 50,000 a year. You have to set aside liquid, I mean liquid money, 50,000. Some people say three months, six months, I'll say one year. If you can have 50,000, one year of your annual income, sitting down somewhere there, no matter what happened, you can take care of yourself and your family for one year, one full year without going back to work. So, and then we learn more on investment. Investment, the area that I focus on giving people education is the conservative way, tax-free, where you don't have to pay tax and your money is growing just like the stock market, you don't lose your money. That's the areas I, I focus my education on because people already, they can Google stocks, they can go lose their money, I don't care. They can put money in the bank, fixed index, and they get like maybe 2% on their CDs. You know, they can do all that. It's, you walk to the bank, they'll give you, but all the things that is gonna grow your money, save you money, grow compound, nobody will teach you that. It's, you have to learn yourself. You have to get with financial advisors and they sit down with you, they show you all that. Next, I hope I'm not being boring. <laughs> Any question? Any question? You know, saving is very important. You know, I started saving 5%, and now if I make money, I make sure I save up to 60% of what I make because 10 years from now, my goal is to retire. Not just retire, but with cash, you know, and I can do whatever I want. So assume your income is 60 thousand and you set aside 10 percent that's about 500 a month and then for 30 years next slide next yeah for, for 30 years keep going if you do that next one you're gonna get if you do if you put it in somewhere that 10 percent somewhere that is growing eight percent on average where I can show you you're gonna make 745,000 in one in 30 years. What if we see 10% on average without you losing your money? That money grows compound, you're gonna get 1.3 million. This is where it is predictable. Next slide. So saving and investment. Keep going. And then at that point in time, you have that money and you roll it over and allow it to sit for let's say another nine years, that 700,000 will become 1.5 without you doing anything. Next slide, at 69. Next slide, and then if it is 10%, it's gonna be 2.3 million at 67. So what does this tell us? Either you need a big, I mean, a, a large sum of money to be able to make more money, or you just have to you know, save a little for a longer time and you will have a lot of money. You can become financially independent if you practice this kind of saving. And savings, don't quote me wrong, saving, that money has to be in a vehicle that is growing, not just sitting down in the bank. So for some people here, let's say you have 10,000, 20,000 in an account. Let me show you where you can, as soon as you move that money now, you get 20%. I moved my TSP, $10,000, because I was losing money <laughs> going up and down when I noticed. 2020, I moved it to a vehicle. They give me 20%, and my 10,000 become, um, 10, become 12,000. Same day, the application is approved, and then they, they, they guarantee me 7.5% for the next five years. So now, in five years, that 10,000 will become 15,000. Without me, I go back to sleep because it's guaranteed. 15 years, it's gonna be 15,000. All right, next slide. 
So you have to understand taxes. This is very important. Next, next, next. Let's get, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's stop here. You have to understand. So there are three places where you put your money and the way they tax you. This is very important. How many people knows have been hearing the wealthy don't pay taxes? You know, there are two things, tax avoidance or tax uh, evasion. If you evade tax, that's where IRS will <laughs> get you. But if you avoid it, pay one time or pay, you know, your fair share. Don't try to, because if you go to Walmart now, buy just small thing like candy, you're going to say tax. Go back again, tax. You're gonna be, you know, but we want to see where we can, there's a tax now. Your, your, your bank, you know, your savings account, checking account, your mutual funds, stocks, those are tax now. Any growth on that money, they're going to tax. You have to report to IRS. Tax letter, most of us has 401k for business owners, SEP IRA, and things like that. They are deferred taxes, you know. But right there, there's something that is called the Roth. Okay, I think the Roth fall under here. The Roth IRA. If you can put all your money there, good. Why? Because imagine you, if you pay your tax now and put the money in a Roth, it's better because if you do the other way, you don't pay taxes now, you're going to, you know how people say in my, in my place, they say you don't pay taxes, you don't want to pay tax on the, on the egg. Why do you want to pay on the chickens? Because now it's going to be big and they're going to tax you. You don't know, tax are going up, maybe 30%, maybe 49%. That's about 50% of your money is going to be taxed. And most people don't know how to distribute it when it gets to. I sh I'll give the education. You know, you're about to take your 401k. Let's move it to something else that distribute that money so the tax will go down. So I focus on that. I get more education on that because it is helping me and I believe it can help other people as well. So tax advantage, this is where the rich people put up to 80% of their money. Tax advantage, what does that mean? Never tax on this account. Never tax on this account. So they push their money. And where? Life insurance. I want you to do a Google, a Google search on your phone. How, where do banks invest their money? You, the first thing that pops up, they're going to tell you that they invest in life insurance. Then ask Google again, why do banks invest in life insurance? He will tell you the benefits, why they in, banks themselves invest. And how much do they invest? They invest billions. They are, that is their highest class of investment, the banks. We're talking about the banks now. So how much how about you, you know? So that's what I teach people, life insurance. Some people say life insurance, you know, and the only thing we know about life insurance is two term life insurance, like the VGLI we get in the army until you die, it pays. That's what discourages people. The one you get in your job, that's what discourages people. You know, but over the years, there's evolution in the insurance industry. They come out with something called index. For the first time, 2001, for the first time, you know, they use this word, you know, index, because you only see index in stocks. But now they add it to life insurance policies. So your life insurance can grow aggressive interest just like the stock market. They mirror the stock market. And the good thing is they give you a floor. If the market goes down, you still, either you stay where you are or you still gain 0.75, you know. And people are not aware of that. That is where I give the education. What about like uh, the annuity? The old, times of, the old types of annuity, people knew about is 2 3%, right? But now annuity also grow like the stock market. They give you bonuses because they know you're moving money from where it was going up and down. It probably must have lose money. Soon as you move, some company give you 20%, some 30% on your money. So that's how you make your money work for you. I hope I'm not boring. Let's go. So I, um, I'll be rounding up. I don't know how much time I have. Are you paying too much on your taxes? Next slide. Next slide. We're not going to talk. Uh, I mean, here I want to point two things. If you have a child that is about a year or two, going to college, sit down with me. I will introduce you to this Heartland Institute of Financial Education. What do they do? 
the non-profit. They help your child. They assign a coach. Most of us say we don't know how to apply. FASA is boring, you know, essay and things like that. They are such a cool. And these people have been in America for years. Not a whole lot of people know. They assign a coach to your child, pay child. What does he do? The best university, the best course, course of study. Because you see kids change, you know, they will do a research. This course will be good for your child in the next four years, ten years by the time they so they can still have a good job or something. You know, that's what they do. They do the essay, everything, scholarships and things like that. And believe you me, the least scholarship I've seen in the past three years is $85,000. Average is hundred and fifty, dollars And they get those kind of scholarships like four best universities. Your child has to choose, you know. So, and those are for those that did not save money. But if you have a child that is one year, two, three, ten, you know, let's start having a plan because you can grow money using indexes. By the time they are 18 years, you have enough money. Not the 529. I'm not saying 529 is not good. But it limits, it has these advantages. It limits your child, the ability to get faster, you know, when they see that you have money. But we want to put money where it's not in, it's called, um, uh, yeah, so the 529 is includable asset. They see it, IRS can see it, everybody can see you have money. The other one, non includable asset. We want to put there where no matter millions you have, the government don't care. They don't see it, the IRS don't want to talk about it. You can use it for whatever you want down payment, a new car for your child when he's going to college. But the 529, if you use it for something else, they're going to tax and penalize you. So you can lose 50%. So those are the areas. Next slide. Social security, we help people. If you're about to retire, you need to sit down with me, put your information. I have access to the um, to social security database, you know, because I'm licensed with them. Put your information. It will tell you exact month to retire and start taking your income. Because if you retire at 62, probably cutting yourself short. This is money that you can receive for the rest of your life. For most people, Social Security is number one uh, source of retirement. You gotta maximize it. So if you know anybody from 60 years up, I can sit down with you and it can show if you've been contributing, you know, if you've been contributing to Social Security. Even business owners, you need to do that, you know, if you're looking for information I can give. Next slide. All right, next. You know, these are testimonies from people that we help with the financial education. Next. Yeah, so the workshop that I said we offer, there are six workshops, it's free. They do it three times a day, Monday to Friday, like today, 1 p.m., 7 p.m., and 9 p.m. You can just log in on your Zoom. I'll put the link. You can go there, register, you get a link on your email, sit down in the comfort of your room, Listen, I listen with my kids. I have 10 year old, three and one. The 10 year olds, if you want to talk to you about money, you'll be surprised because <laughs> our brain is magnetic. I didn't know, you know, you know, just sit down and talk because one, no matter what you transfer to them, you have to give them that knowledge to be able to manage what you leave behind. So finances is not taught in schools. So B, make sure you teach your kids and you know, the younger generation. So this guy said the workshop changed my mindset and attitude towards money. We help with help from WSB. WSB is just a, a group, just like we are here. They develop all these things on the World Financial Group. They are all fine, licensed, about 79,000, and I'm part of them. So they design all this workshop. They present it on a daily basis, free of charge. Just go learn. So he says, I was behind in my retirement goals and grossly underprotected. So the education and support truly really changed my life and saved my family. Now, I am proud to say that I am on my way to building a strong financial future. Next. If you're interested, you have me in the group. I'll send you this book, a copy of this book. If you want to do the, the, the workshop, I'll send you the workbook, digital. So you, you can print it or you can put it in one screen and then fill it up, it's gonna increase your knowledge about all areas of finances. Next slide. 
So we have financial centers all across. Most times you want to go in, the closest I have is in Austin. You know, they do it every Mondays and to Wednesdays. But you want to do it at home. For me, I like Zoom really well. <laughs> I like Zoom. You know, since 2020, I'm doing my business on Zoom. And here, I'm trying to license at least 10 people. If I license 10 people, I'll be able to open a war financial office here in, um, in uh, Killeen, any Killeen Central, anywhere. They will give me that if I can license 10 people. Right now, there was a time I licensed up to 10 people. And some people, you know, maybe it's not their thing. Now I have five people licensed. I need five more. This will help your business. You know, because you have access to so many information in this workshop. If I license that, then I'll be able to have an office, and then this workshop will be, do, will be done, you know, in here, in, in the office, physical people can walk in, because not all people are familiar. I'm trying to talk to my boss there so we can do financial workshops here as well, if, if that will be, you know, achievable. Next, so over 30,000, you know, and these are the... Uh, these are the workshops. You can take a picture of that, screenshot of that, so that you know um, there are six workshops. I just did the introduction. No need to do the introduction again. And then workshop number one, building savings and wealth. You know, workshop number two, increasing cash flow and debt management. Three, prepare with proper protection. Four, your, your health and wealth. And five, understanding asset accumulation strategies and then fulfilling long-term goal. Next slide. All right, I was talking about this, our community, 79,000 people is increasing every day. Those are entrepreneurs, business owners that decide to get a license and be in the financial industry as well. And most, um, most businesses, I have a business downtown and he got a, li he got a license. What does that mean? People comes in, he can know companies to use them and not someone is looking for auto insurance, you, don't, you know, you say, oh, go to that place. You can do it within anything finances, everything and anything finance. If you want to do the stocks, security, you have to get another license. But the other one is just life, health, and accident, which is, uh, yeah, very easy. Just go through the questions and you pass. Out of 150 questions, you need only 70 to pass, and I help people with that as well. Go next. We do these workshops. Let's say you have a team in the church, everywhere, in your home. Sit people down, I come and give this education free of charge. That's why I'm asked, I asked to be, you know, a, you know, video. If you can take me some pictures, fine, because I need to report back there because we're trying to educate 30 million families by the year. 2030, give, give them education. So when we do like this, we send it. They're going to call you, Kevin, if I report that, just take me a few pictures, if I report, they're going to you know, call you to see if they can put this in the, you know, in the national um, counter and what we're doing today. So next slide. So we do it in all those places, public library. I'm trying to get a place in Temple. I used to do it in civil center here in Killeen but I didn't have enough publicity. But any time I do it, minimum of 15 people will show up and I educate them, family and friends. And then online, schedule appointment if you need anything. Schedule appointment on Zoom. I'll be there, you sit in your home, and I'll give you the education. Next slide. All right. We partner with what is called clean water. Most of the money this company makes and things like that, we, you know, we partner with a company called uh, um, uh, clean, they provide clean water in some part of, you know, uh, uh, third world countries. So WSB is now an official brand partner with Charity Water. So most of the money we need, we make here, and we try to provide, you know, uh, portable water, clean water, where people don't have water. Next. So that's how much we have made already since 2020. Mid 2020, donated the proceeds to charity. Next slide. So, next. This is a new normal. Things are changing, and we can see. Just keep going through the slide that we're, all, we're done. You know, these are the things. 
These are the things that is going on. You know, losses. Go back one more slide. Let me show uh, one more. These are the things that is going on. Disruption, inflation, technology, depression. You know, but I tell you, the only, the only industry that is recession proof is in the financial industry. I'm done. Uh, so next slide. This is where, among all these, this is where you need to be. Next slide. You want to have, I, just, I want to start, go back one more time. That's where I want to stop. You want to have this thing, freedom. That's what your financial education can give you. You want to have flexibility in your business. You have a lifestyle, because if you're wealthy, you can choose to have goals and you also have purpose. So life is too short just to work for a living. We have to, you know, put this and improve our lives in these four areas. I think that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. If you have any questions <laughs> for me, thank you.